Today we're going to learn how to add jQuery inside our websites because in the previous episode we talked about jQuery being a framework or what we call a library. So we're going to need to download the library before we can actually use jQuery inside our code. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser. And inside my browser I'm going to go ahead and go to jQuery.com. And inside jQuery.com you guys can see we can actually download jQuery over here on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And inside of here, we have two options. Either we can download jQuery and include it inside our root folder, or we can link to it using a CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network. Now the pros and cons when it comes to downloading jQuery versus using a CDN network is that if I were to use a CDN, I will always have my jQuery updated because it's online, and the online version will always be updated. But by using a CDN network, I can't work offline which is what we can do if we were to download jQuery, I can actually go ahead and work on my website when I don't have internet. So you have to consider which one you want to do. Now, typically when it comes to me, I prefer using a CDN network because I always want my jQuery to be updated. And most of the time when I do actually work on websites, I do have internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a CDN network, but I will show you guys how to download it and how to install it the CDN way. So we're gonna start out by actually using a CDN network. So what I'm gonna do here is inside this web page. I am going to scroll down to the bottom where it says CDN, which it does right here using jQuery with a CDN. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link called code.jQuery.com. So I'm gonna click it. And inside of here, we can choose which version of jQuery we want to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the latest one. And I want to use the minified version because the minified version is gonna weigh less when we do actually use it inside our website. So when it comes to optimizing your website, it's a lot better to use the minified version. I would actually not recommend using the uncompressed version unless you plan to changing stuff inside jQuery. So for us beginners, we're just gonna go ahead and choose the minified one. So when I click it, you guys can see we get a piece of code. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it, paste it inside my website right underneath the title tag. We need to make sure of it inside the head tag because we want it to load before everything else inside the website. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move everything up so it looks nice because right now everything is on different lines. Like so. And like so. So now we basically just included jQuery using a CDN and this is all we had to do in order to do this. Now if you were to actually download jQuery, I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside jQuery.com. Just gonna go back to our downloads page, go to the top. And you guys can see we can download a couple of versions of jQuery. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link here called download the compressed version of jQuery 3.2.1. With you guys, it might say something different because you guys might be in the future, so there might be an update to jQuery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this one. Then you guys can see it downloaded. Now after downloading the file, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it inside my root folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my root folder. And inside my root folder, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and say new folder. I'm going to call this one JS for JavaScript code. And inside my JS folder, I'm going to include all the JavaScript files that I might have inside my website, including the jQuery file, because jQuery is JavaScript. So I'm going to paste it in here. After pasting it in, I'm going to go ahead and copy the name. So we do actually have the name of it. I'm going to go back inside my code. And if you were to delete the CDN network up here, just to show you guys how to do this manually by actually downloading the file, I'm gonna go ahead and include a JavaScript script tag. And again, we don't actually need to have this type text JavaScript because we're inside HTML5 now. It was only in the previous version of HTML we needed to have that. So inside my script tags, I'm gonna go ahead and include a source, which I'm gonna set equal to jQuery 3.2.1.min. Dot .js because that was the name of the file we downloaded. And again, we inserted inside a JavaScript folder. So we need to tell that we need to go inside a JavaScript folder, then forward slash because we're digging into the folder. And then we have this file here. So this is how we can include jQuery if we were to actually download the file. Now we're actually ready to write jQuery inside our document. So this is basically what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.